Please welcome, from the Grateful Dead, Phil Lesh and Mickey Hart. I really love that big teleprompter back there. I sure wish we'd had that on our last tour. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. There will always be music scenes uh, from New Orleans to Seattle and beyond. But the phenomenon of San Francisco music was unique. The group mind experience was the engine that powered a whole subculture. The only rule was there were no rules. And the variety of expression that burst forth at that time has rarely been equal. The word magic usually refers to moments of a very special kind when the miraculous is a common occurrence, when group rapture happens. What creates the energy of the group mind is the ability to leave oneself behind and manifest a common reality in sound. Six people, hell bent on the ride of their lives, resonating in perfect rhythm and trained in sync. There's nothing like that feeling. It's not just a gang with separate agendas, but a combined force turning its way into the hearts of all who fall prey to its irresistible charm. Very good. No band is the best band in the world every night, or even most nights. Sometimes a group can rise way above themselves and perform beyond their individual capabilities. The Jefferson Airplane, when in flight, would soar far and wide. And indeed, were the best in the world on many a night. Jack's sexy bass throbbing, synced with his dancing eyebrows, the vibration entering your consciousness from the toes, headed straight to the heart, shaking your bones, making your teeth rattle, and your arm stinging guitar, causing the hair on the back of your neck to sit straight up. Grace and Marty sailing above the pack of madmen behind them. Spencer in his Zorro hat, keeping it steady. Rooted firmly in jazz and the blues, and of course, Paul, slashing away at warp 10, all 12 strings, vibrating your insides. When they hit the groove, you danced. And that's what we love so much about this band. Together they shared the magic, they nurtured it, they passed it on. So, please welcome the Jefferson Airplane to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, an honor they so richly deserve. And look out, there goes the neighborhood.